Any better? Feels better. Unless I have hooked weird. That was a decent no, fish. No, 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 no. Fidel, you made the move of the day. Oh, look at that giant! Oh, look at a big bubba! Big bubba! Now, Jeremy, you gotta explain to everybody why we're now catching fish. What move did you make? Well, because it, it was all, it was all been out, hundred percent. Well, logic would dictate that we stayed out deep. We come in, there's the, the grass lit up, right, Andy? Oh, we're man. out in 20 feet of water, 25 foot of water. Grass are just lit up with fish. We're snagging shad, crappie here or there, no, no bass. You know, uh, it, it wasn't working. Um, we started to eventually scoot in, scoot in, scoot in, and we're starting to catch one or two or three as we're moving in. 10 foot of water, 12 foot of water, and, but, not like this, not not on a regular basis. So we decided to, from just kind of history, we decided to move in and just try something crazy and go in shallower, beyond 10 feet. How and shallow uh, would that fish come from? This was probably in five foot of water. Yeah, four or five foot of water. And caught the last five fish, right? And yeah. All within a half hour. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The move and, off. and water temp, see, there's a the water temp. You can see the water temp right there. Shallow water, December 23rd. Yeah, Benel. Don't tell me it's jerk bait. Nope. I got two bites on this. I got one earlier. I thought it was bite. Get there. He got that thing. Show me that thing. What's going on, Benel? Oh my. You got a little swim bait in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Nice work, sir. Dragging that thing on the bottom. Thank you. That feels better than that shad I hooked earlier. Come on, baby. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I think I have something other than the shad. Yeah. We got a bass. Come on. Oh man, he uh, he ain't hooked very well. Ah, he's not. <laughs> Does it count? Does it count? Yeah, yeah, it counts. It counts because there's no way he didn't snap at it. It's no easy task to catch fish in 36.9 degree water. And we've been out here for about six hours of fishing. Now. Uh, yes, about six hours of fishing. And that's how much it's warmed up, the 36 degrees. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice fish. Very good, Vanel. You blade again? Good one. Oh, real good. One. Oh shoot! Look at that! Look at that! Oh my gosh! What are you gonna do, Vanel? Want to get the net for you? Oh, look at you! Look at you, Carrie! Friend. Follow me long enough to know that I believe diversity is very important in fishing. We've caught fish, Jeremy and I have caught fish on a handful of different baits. Maybe not a handful, but we've got them on blade baits, caught them on uh, undercrunch, swim baits, and of course jerk bait. But another thing that's not uncommon is to find one dominant pattern. Man, uh, hey, like I said early on in the video, Jeremy really had the right idea to go up shallow. The man in command, the master plan. Jeremy Vanell. Oh, gosh, another nice quality large mouth. Swing it aboard! Whew. Again, just switching that. Five foot of water, not not even. Four foot of water. Another, another nice, nice fish chunky man. fish. Oh, yeah, man. Look at that. Got a nice little yellow spot there, huh? Yep. Hey, little fish need love too, Jeremy. <laughs> Do you mind explaining your retrieve real quick? It kind of looks like I think I'm being a little bit more aggressive with my retrieve than what I really am because there's slack in my line when I'm doing this. I'm not full on pulling it or sweeping it. I would describe it more as a twitch. I'm guessing that I'm, I'm probably moving this bait between six inches and 12 inches on every one of those twitches in the water. And my cadence seems to be around two or three and then a five to seven, eight second pause. Oh, 
That's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. Gosh, you kidding me. Yes! December 23rd, two days before Christmas. Big or small, they are all good. 36 degree water, Benel. Absolutely. Yeah. That jerk bait was a deal. I should emphasize, it was a deal for him. Not gonna get bit on it. And I just, I'm a little too hyperactive, I think. I'm gonna have to work on that skill. Because stubbornness is, is the opposite of what you need to be as a fisherman. Flexibility, stability, and flexibility. What are the dang words you use? Adaptability, flexibility, uh, diversity. That's right, that's right. That's what you gotta be as a fisherman. Especially even in this time of year in the winter. And I'm pretty big on using blade baits and going to the same spots. But today is a great lesson on not to do that. Links to our so social media are all below. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time, we'll see you on the water.